hi guys welcome back it's been a while i know i'm still in the euphoria of the 1k subscriber mark that i wished all right if you want to know how i made this gorgeous headband just stay tuned i'll be right back all right guys so to make this particular headpiece you're going to be needing two cutouts of 35 inches of ashoki fabric so we're going to be using this ashoki fabric in two now we'll put them together just like this and we'll, we're going to run our stitch on top and then down i'll be right back now this is what it looks like after running your stitch next thing you're going to be doing is to turn it inside out yeah you got it right you're turning the inside right to get that right side of the shoe key now once you're done turning it to the right side yeah you have to smoothen it all out next thing we're going to be doing is to be working with our alice band now this alice band is going to be going inside the hole inside the shoe key so you just want to bring the ashoki out from the other end now the next thing you're going to be doing is to fold this end of the band just like i'm doing so you have to watch so you'll be able to understand what i'm doing you're going to be folding this end hold it down so firm and next thing you're going to do is to be working with your needle and thread now with this needle and thread, I the first stitch you're going to be getting or the first thing stitch you're going to be making, try to pick the part of the Alice band so that the Alice band and the Ashoki will be stitched together. And now what you're going to be doing afterwards is to be running your stitch to hold the folded area which you did. So just watch it and you understand. So once you're done doing that don't forget to secure your stitch i keep emphasizing on that secure your stitch you don't want to have a loose headband you can go ahead and cut off the ss ashoki that it's at the tip of your headband just cut it off because there's nothing we're going to we're not going to be using for anything now the next thing we're going to be doing is to adjust our ruffle to the length we want and then the excess i shook it there you go ahead and cut it off go ahead and trim it off and we're going to be repeating what we did on the other on the other side so we're going to be folding it make sure that the back is still the back as you're folding so you don't make the mistake and um if, let's say for instance the back of the right hand side will now be the front for the left hand side. just follow what i'm doing you understand you know the area we stitch we don't we don't want one in front and one at the back we want both of them at the back that's what i'm trying to say so i'm smoothing it out and folding it then i'll be working with my needle and thread to stitch it just like i did on the other side so my lovely if today is your first time stopping by in my channel I want to say welcome and if you haven't subscribed please tap on the subscribe button and join the family you're welcome this is a channel where you learn everything diy fascinators headband gilly ashoke name it anything you want to learn concerning headgears this channel has it so tap on that subscribe button and join the family and to my old subscribers i say thank you your girl is reaching almost half a thousand watch hour so this is me knotting and securing after stitching so guys once you're done securing you just have to you know adjust your ruffles to the way you want it next thing we're going to be doing is to be working with our bias so what i'm doing right now is to measure out the length of bias that i want multiplying it by two because i have two ends to cover now i'm cutting it out now i have two different um 
bias cutout that I'll be using to cover the rough edges of my band. Now to cover that I'm working with my hot glue. I'm applying a little amount of hot glue and placing it on the end of the rough edge. Now I'll be covering it out just to give it a good finish like a clean finish you understand. So whatever I'm doing on this side I'm also going to be doing it on the other side. So guys, you know I love hearing from you guys. If you have any questions for me concerning any of my videos, any of my tutorials, drop your question in the comment section. I will gladly answer you. I will take my time and I will read through, the, through them and, you know, answer all the questions you drop for me. And let me know what you think about my work. Let me know what you think about my tutorials. If you have any suggestions, try and drop them out. I'll, I'll look through them. Also, drop a like for me if you like what you are seeing. That way, I'll be able to know that, yeah, you guys are seeing this and you like what I'm doing. And that will help and encourage me to do more and drop more videos for you guys. Thank you so much. Now guys, I'm almost done covering this other end and once you're done covering it, your, your band is pretty much ready. So some people go ahead and add a um, rubber band to the both ends just to hold the band frame on the head. But if you want it fine, if you do not want it, no problem. This particular one I did, I didn't add a band on it. But there are other ones that I made in the past that I added a band on it. So just adjust your ruffles the way you want it and your headband is ready. So tell me what you guys think about this. Would you try it? Now this is another one I made in pink. So guys, thank you. Share my videos. Like it. Post it. Bye. See you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. See you.